dudes? Yeah, I don't know. It works. Why not? <laughs> Okay, thank you. thank you. Well, hello, my dudes, and what's up? And welcome to Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona for game four of the World Series. And hang on. Yeah, I think that's more like it. Zach Hample here. What's going on? This is, in fact, Halloween, October 31st. But by the time this video gets posted, it'll be early November. Just did that random TV interview. They thought I looked cool or really stupid, one of the two. I'll take it either way. And so the Rangers are leading this series two games to one. Really, really hope the D backs can even things out tonight. Yesterday, batting practice was packed and it was tough to catch balls. So, hoping to avoid the shutout, get at least one ball early, and we'll see what happens for there. But yeah, you can just see how many people are here. Hype in the desert. Let's go. Yo, check this out. It is a 25th anniversary Diamondbacks ball. I was so excited to get one of these earlier this year, like back in April. And I heard that they're using them for BP. So, I don't know how long I'm gonna wear this during BP. It might get annoying, but I did actually shout, toss it up, my dude, and he did, so that feels great. Despite this costume slash disguise that I'm wearing, people are still recognizing me. And so I'm up here on the concourse in deep left center now for the d back second group. And I'm keeping my eye on the cage because Tommy Pham is in this group. He's about to step up in there and he can really crank them. So uh, I got three balls from the first group, which is more than I got all of yesterday combined. So feeling good about that. But it would be nice to catch a home run even if it is just during BP, so. There's a deep one. Uh, no. That's short, but here comes Fam.
So this one is a regular ball. I'll give that one away. I'm definitely going to keep the commemorative Diamondbacks balls because those are special. I think I found Waldo. He deserves a ball. Left field is actually less crowded today than it was yesterday, and yet it is still almost impossible to move and catch baseballs here with the Rangers hitting. And so, I think I want to change things up, head out to right field, which is getting blasted by sunlight right now, but, you know, it's interesting to check out different spots and different sections. So, I'm going to guess that this is the last group for the Rangers, so let's head out that way and finish things up there. Man, I really love this area in right field directly behind the outfield wall because normally there are all kinds of opportunities to get baseballs down here, but today I could not quite make anything happen. A few other fans got baseballs, which is always nice to see, but as for me, yeah, my day stalled out with a total of four, at least for now, but the day is young, so we'll see what else happens from here. And, you know, it's a well-known fact that I do not have a favorite team but I am definitely rooting for the D-backs in this series because from the front office to the players to the coaching staff to the grounds crew to the ushers and the fans, I have been treated so well here for the past decade. So really, how could I possibly not want this team to succeed? And so for right now, there's still more than an hour until this game starts. And no, I do not have tickets down here. Just came to say hello to a few friends and to enjoy the end of BP. So I'll be leaving this spot in just a moment. But first, I want to show you a close-up of these three commemorative balls from D-Backs BP. So again, I am definitely going to hang on to these because these are really special. And for now, I figure, why not wander over closer to the dugouts and soak up all this World Series hoopla, right? Let's get to it. See ya! Hey, what's up, Zach? Oh, what's going on? Well, thanks very much. Of course. Yeah, it's Terry. Well, not that. What up? Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right.
Hall of Fame, Josh Rogers. Really cool guy. Did you go last night? Last night. Yeah. Okay. Of course you do. You'll get him. Thanks again. Thank you. Thanks for being here. And that is Derek Hall, who I guess is the president and CEO of baseball operations for the D-backs. If that's not his exact title, it's something like that. He's on way at the top. So awesome people here, like I was saying. Al Marte was not happy about getting caught stealing right there, but he did get a hit in the bottom of the first to extend his postseason hitting streak to 20 games, extending an all-time record. So that is pretty awesome. And once again, just like last night, I'm hanging out here in the concourse waiting for a very long home run. So two lefties pitching tonight, a lot of right-handed batters, so I think this is probably the best spot. Marcus Simeon with a three-run homer to blow this game completely open. Five RBIs for him. It's now 10-0 Rangers in the third inning. You can hear the Let's Go D-backs chant. 
you know, this crowd is still in it, so I give the fans here a whole lot of credit, but man, this is rough. got their first run baby Lourdes Goriel sacrifice fly right there it's now a 10 to 1 ball game heading to the fifth inning right along and the score has not changed we're heading to the eighth inning now with the rangers still on top 10 to 1 and you rangers fans out there that is cj nitkowski former major league pitcher and current rangers tv announcer now he threw me my 800th lifetime ball way back in the day at the old yankee stadium and these days he broadcasts a hundred rangers games during the season but then during the postseason they kick him out of the booth and guys like john smoltz head in there and they go blah 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 i wish they would let the local team's guys actually do the postseason games i think it would be much more interesting but that's just how it goes and so oh my god did jonah heim just hit a home run <laughs> Yeah, so now it's 11 to 1, I guess. Right there is why you do not leave the World Series early despite a lopsided score. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. with a three-run bomb to trim the Rangers lead to six. So yeah, on some level the game still felt out of reach at that point. But for a moment, you would not have known it based on the energy in this building. And to the D-backs credit, they made it even closer in the bottom of the ninth thanks to a two-run single by their stud catcher Gabriel Moreno. And after that, I found a really cool place to watch what happened next, right next to all the cameramen beside the batter's eye. Now, Christian Walker was at bat with two outs, and he'd already gotten three hits tonight, but facing Jose Leclerc, he just could not get it done, hitting a weak foul pop-up to the first base side, where Nathaniel Lowe grabbed it for the final out. And so, 11 to seven, that was the final, and this game should have had a different outcome, because five of the runs, that the D-backs allowed were unearned. That happened back in the third inning, and maybe I was overly pessimistic, but in that moment, man, it felt like the whole damn series was over. Shout out to Marcus Semien 
who not only threw me a ball yesterday, but was the hitting star tonight with a triple and a homer and five RBIs as his team took a commanding three games to one lead in the Fall Classic. And as for me, well, I got four baseballs today, all toss-ups, all before the game, decent total. I'll definitely take it. Those four baseballs bring the lifetime total to 12,412. And guess what? That number will have to carry me through the offseason into 2024 because this is my very last game of the season. Game five here tomorrow, I'll be on a plane back home to New York City. But I do have some more videos coming your way this offseason. Look forward to that. My first game in 2024, I think, is going to be in South Korea for the MLB opening series. So we're just going to keep this going. And I hope the D-backs can keep it going and make it a seven-game series because I love them and I want as much baseball as possible even if I won't be there in person. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween again, you know, whenever this video gets posted. And uh, aloha, my dudes. I'm out.